Why, hello! <clears throat> I thought I'd try something different. It was not successful. Okay, today we're going to have a look at apparently the reflection of my camera. This is an Aurora. I have not reviewed that many Auroras, I think I can say in all honesty, and there is no real reason for it. It's just, to be fair, not a brand that particularly appeals to me. To each his own, there's nothing wrong with the brand. It's just not really a brand that does a whole lot for me personally, and that's fine. But I will say, that is pretty. So, we're going to have a look at this, the Aurora 88 Urano. I'm going to show you the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Aurora 88 Urano in this massive box, because this is a large box. I have the outer sleeve, I'll take that off, and then we have the box, and the box is in yet another bit of cardboard. And then you get the actual box, all right? So if there's another box in this, I'm gonna throw it out the window. Nope, nope, that's it. Very classy, rose gold, and that's kind of nice. Nice touch, rose gold details. It all looks very refined. I mean, look at this, that's very neat, right? It's like a little treasure chest. Um, 1919, Aurora, etc. You can take out this little pen bed. Oh, I've just, oh, I'm gonna just push that in such a way that it won't come out anymore. Okay. Uh, Officina da Scrittura celebrates and promotes the value of man's sign. Okay. Good to know. A little Aurora booklet, right? But I know that this is what you're not, this is not really what you want to see. What you want to see is the Urano. So, let us talk about the Urano. I will zoom in. There we go. Before I do anything else, let me show you this pen right next to Alami Safari. You can see the Aurora 88, even the larger model, it's not that big of a pen. Okay, so, what's so special about this? Uh, I got the pen through Applebaum. Uh, actually, Aziza got the pen because she wanted to have this pen, so she, she bought it from Applebaum. Sorry, just a sip of water. Don't forget, check out my website. You can get a 10% discount code for the website, huh? Applebaum. Okay, so what, what, what about this pen? Well, Urano, 888 pieces worldwide, all right? And this happens to be number 35, uh, sorry, three, if only, 351. I mistook the one for a, 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 a backslash, a, a forward slash, whatever, for the thing. Um, it's bluish, right? Meant to represent the blue color of the blue color of Uranus. It's the planet, people. God. Uh, cellulose acetate body, right? It looks looks nice. Nice material. Uh, a, a very very nice uh, chatoyance uh, to it, which which I enjoy. 18, 18 karat gold nib, um, which is rose gold plated, and as you can, maybe, I don't know if you can tell, the camera is always difficult, but uh, rose gold uh, highlights there as well, rose gold trims. Okay, so let me cover the parts of the pen, and then I'll do a writing sample for you. Top of the pen, black. To me, to be honest, bit of a shame. I kind of wish that was all this material, but okay. We have the clip clip is relatively tight but works well and then here as I said we have the number 351 out of 888 pretty material center band the center band says Aurora and that's it barrel tapers down so slightly piston turning knob also black again I would I think I would have enjoyed it if it would be all this material because it is very pretty Cap unscrews, a couple of interesting things here. Black section, again, I kind of would have enjoyed this material, but okay, black section. And an ink window, which is rather nice because it is a piston filler, so you know how much ink you have. Uh, we have an ebonite feed, which is nice. 
and then we have a nib, in this case an italic nib. It is 18 karat gold and as I said it is rose gold plated and it looks nice. Nice line variation, whoops, because of the, uh, the italic uh, grind on it, uh, which is, is quite nice. Section, tapers down, flares out a little bit. It's quite comfortable to hold, uh, and if you really want to, you can in fact post this pen. And that's a very nice size. Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit so I can do some writing. Now, of course, you would expect some sort of super fancy uh, uh, turquoise ink, but because I also have to clean it, uh, I just use Waterman Serenity Blue. Okay. Aurora 88. This is the 18K italic nib, and the ink is Waterman Serenity Blue. Pleasant writer. A little, um, I wouldn't say prone to skipping, but because it's an italic nib, if you don't align it properly to the paper, it will skip more than a round nib, so that is something to be aware of. Wetness, it's not very dry, so that is kind of nice. Line variation, yeah, of course, because this is an italic nib, you get natural line variation like that. Um, as always, very, very careful. With a little bit of pressure, you can squeeze out some more line variation, but it's not a flex nib at all, so be very, very careful. Reverse writing, possible, but this being an italic nib, it doesn't work so well, as you can see. All right, well, does have really nice line variation uh, because of the grind, which I, I really like. Let's see what I like about it and what I not like about it. Okay, so what do I like? What do I not like about the Aurora 88 Urano? Well, there's a couple of things I really like. It's a very pretty pen. Let's face it, this is a very pretty material. Um, I think a lot of people will like this. It's a nice turquoise, would of course pair very well with nice turquoise inks. And it ticks a lot of boxes. 18K nib, piston filler, nice material. I think that's all really, really nice. Um, it has a large ink capacity, uh, and that's also, in my mind, one of the downsides. The, the piston seal is hollow, so it's supposed to hold even more ink, and then you can kind of flick it, I think, and then you have sort of like an emergency ink reservoir. Uh, that's definitely a nice thing, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. It also, something that I, I always really appreciate is it has an ink window, so you can actually see how much ink you have left. Uh, which I think is is very valuable, uh, especially in a piston filler, because you you know you 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 cannot just quickly unscrew the section and see how much ink is left in your converter. So I always really appreciate that as a feature in pens. Okay, things I don't like so much. Um, first issue is it's a little hard to clean. Now there is a solution. As I said, that piston seal is hollow, and I found that that traps ink in, 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 I've seen this in other Aurora models, the 88, like this one, but also the Optima, it's all the same stuff, uh, that can be a little hard to clean. Now the advantage is the nib unit, hold it tightly, it will screw out. So like with a Pelican, say, that makes it easy to swap nibs, but it also makes it easy to just fill up a syringe with water, take out the nib, squirt the water in, and you should be good. Uh, so that, that I do really appreciate, and that is a very nice thing. So there is that. My biggest issue uh, with the pen is the street price is about $800, um, which is uh, by no means an inexpensive pen. I realize it's a limited edition, uh, but I find that relatively expensive for what it is. And that's always difficult. This is also a very personal thing, because I mean, you do get a lot. You get, you get a nice uh, um, material, it's selling those acetate, you get uh, an 18k nib, you get a piston filler, uh, so I mean, I understand all that. It takes a lot of boxes for 
fountain pen lovers, fountain pen collectors. But $800 though is quite a lot of money. Um, so I, I am not sure if I personally really see the penny per penny value in this pen. But to be fair, that can be said of any expensive fountain pen, right? So that's not unique to this pen. But if it was $550 or $600, I would feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Um, because again, Gold Nib, Limited Edition, Piss and Fill, I understand all that. I just think it may be pushing it a little bit. And now you have to decide whether you agree or not, and whatever you decide is fine, of course, I'm just saying this. What I will say is it is very, very pretty. So the bottom line, as far as I'm concerned, is maybe a little pricey, but you do get a gold nib, you get a piston filler, you get a very attractive finish. So there you have it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.